Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an app review of Google's new smart messaging app, Allo, that's A-L-L-O. Um, so, in case you're wondering what this is or how this differs from apps like uh, Hangouts itself, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Viber, or anything like that, is that it is actually, like I said, a smart messaging app. So, it's kind of like Facebook Messenger uh, mixed with Google Now, but with more intuitive responses, and it also has SMS capability as well. So um, it's kind of like what, or the only thing close to it that I can think of offhand is the Facebook Messenger, where you can get sports scores and news and stocks and things like that in your um, chat by doing a starting a chat with a certain, um, uh, I guess, conversation like at stocks or something like that. I forget offhand what it is with Facebook. But it makes it more intuitive. So uh, once you install the app, it is available for free on Google or in, in the Google Play Store for Android and on iOS in the Apple App Store. So um, it covers most smartphone users. Uh, when you launch the app, you get a quick uh, walkthrough to tie the um, app to a phone number. So it mel- it may- for me, it took a little bit of time for that initial setup. I don't know if it was a big server load at the time because I tried to log in when everyone else got access or um, it was just a slow thing with my number. But once it's set up, you get a basic UI for notification sounds and setting, things like that. And then you get a simple uh, interface like this. Um, And from here, you can start adding friends. And if they are not using Allo yet, they'll get an invite link. So they'll be notified that, hey, your friend's using Allo. Would you like to... um, join and they'll go be able to go to the same startup pro- or the sign up process. Um, I haven't invited any friends, but I have been playing with the cool feature of the app and that's the Google Assistant. So what the Google Assistant does is it allows you to do a search using natural phrases and it doesn't have to be full sentences, but you can do a search for things that you want. So for example, I did a search earlier so, um, for top news. So I can say, I'll try this time and said recent news or recent news. And I'll do a search, and it'll do a quick uh, search, and it'll say, give me the headlines. So it'll st- tell me about a crash in Pennsylvania, something about um, Donald Trump, something about the repairs to the Great Wall, so um, things like that. And then you can also have it set, remind, or it'll give suggestions and things like that as well. So if you want more information about those that news, you can get that. But the, my favorite part about this is that you can have, have it set a reminder. So if you want to um, set a daily reminder, you can, you can touch that. And you can set, for example, every 8, 10, 1, 4, and all these different times. And if you don't want, or if you want to cancel out of it, then you can cancel out. But uh, I will do that because I already set it for um, top news. Um, so let's say you want to do a search for something else. So let's say I want to do a search for stock. So let's say I'll do a search for Apple. It's the first one that comes to mind. So I'll just do AAPL. That's their stock symbol. I know that offhand. Um, and it will give me the stock symbols for the day. And the links it provides are intuitive Google searches. So um, you can do a search and it will bring up the results. Um, my internet connection is a little low where I'm at at the moment. So it'll take a little bit of time, but it will still do that same Google search and you can get more information on the stock. And same thing with the story. So if I go up and I want to do read more about this, um, the Great Wall repairs or the wall, the repairs to the Great Wall of China, it'll load that article as well. And then and so if and then if you want more news, they'll um, pull up more news so it knows that it wants uh, it'll get that you're looking for news related to Apple, so it'll give you that as well. And then you can do searches as well for um, traffic to various de- destinations. You can do uh, get a weather updates. And uh, the fun part about the app as well is that it'll, it can even tell you some jokes, even though they're a bit corny, just by doing or just by doing a search for "tell me a joke." Um, and you can do a when you send that, it'll tell you a joke, and you can keep going at it. So. Um, in this case, did you hear about the world's largest pickle? It's a really big deal. Um, and then you can, it'll give you various, um, thing, um, other things to do a search for. So if you want random fun, um, it'll give you that information. And for example, I don't know what that is, but if that's something that's, 
um, of a note, um, even interesting facts. So if you want something, just a random tidbit, then it'll give you that. Um, so it's about 150 million hot dogs are consumed during American Independence Day. Um, now let's say you want a riddle, then it can give you, and then, so basically it not only provides you, um, quick information based on what you're asking, but it also gives you suggestions as you go. And then it also gets, um, smarter as you, um, search. So as you do more quiz, it'll know how you talk, how you, um, do have you hold your conversations and it will give you recommendations based on that. So, um, as an example of maybe a full sentence search, I'll, I can say something like, um, how far away is the moon? So as a full search, it'll, I can do that. Um, it'll do it and it'll give a full sentence response. The moon is 238,000 miles from earth. And then it, um, gives you additional questions on that. You can ask if you want to find, um, more information. So let's say I want to go across, um, let's say there's kilometers. How does the earth look from the moon? Um, so you can get, uh, results based on that. And it gives you a core result of how it looks and more information on that. So you give that kind of information. So, um, it's very detailed, it's very straightforward, and it's very, uh, for me, easy to use. So if you want a more streamlined uh, way of searching for information, then the Google Assistant is the way to go. So um, the only thing that's really missing for me is I would kind of like, like Hangouts to have, to be, or to be able to create shortcuts to individual chats or even a direct um, shortcut to the Google Assistant. Um, but since it's early on in this release, it's actually very good. And I can, um, actually enjoy these, the easier way of um, it providing information. So I actually kind of like it at the moment a little bit more than Google Now. Um, Google Now I like as it provides information automatically based on um, searches I've done. Allo is a way of doing direct searches in the way that you type and search and have it bring back results to you. So... Uh, it's definitely an app worth checking out if, and if you use it just for Google Assistant, but it also will learn based on your chats with your friends on how you, uh, and get better as you go along. So if you need a, a reply automatically with a generic response, you can do that. Um, and then it also comes with um, various sticker pa or icons and emojis and all of that. So um, you can browse around, play with that. Um, a bit of fun as far as typing goes um, when you type something, so let's say this is a sentence, uh, when you hold down on the send button, you can make your words bigger or smaller. So if you want to make the whole sentence, um, bigger or smaller before you send it as a means of, let's say shouting or whispering, then you can, um, use that kind of as emphasis or de-emphasis you want. And, um, I guess there's apparently a quote by Gary Provost on this is a sentence. So there's a lot of information out there and Google Assistant makes it easier to get that information. So that's a quick preview of what um, Allo is and what Google Assistant can do and some of what's coming up as far as what it does as far as natural language search and learning um, based on what um, you search for and how you search as well. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, or want me to test something out, you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com. You can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. Uh, you can find this review or more reviews on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01, where you can subscribe and share the videos and check them out as well. Um, and then, as I mentioned, it's available in or it's available for Android and iOS in their respective um, app stores. Just do a search for Allo, um, A-L-L-O and they should show up as a free app. So that is all for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.